Sometimes the answer to our problem seems easy, but the easy solution may not always be the right one. Today in Lines for Leaders, I'll share what one famous person said about the dangers of taking the easy way, along with some thoughts about what we can do to make sure that even if we can't do what's easy, we can at least do what's best. Anton Chekhov survived an abusive father and a childhood of poverty as he grew up in Russia in the late 19th century. Despite many hardships, he managed to earn a medical degree, even while supporting his family. But writing was his first love. Chekhov wrote prolifically, ultimately gaining fame not only for his short stories and plays, but also for his influence on modern theater. One recent commentator said that only Shakespeare outranks Chekhov in the number of modern adaptations of his plays. Of the millions of words he's written somewhere along the line, he said this, only entropy comes easy. About the time Chekhov was born, scientists were formulating the laws of thermodynamics, and in a way he was paraphrasing the second law. In a closed system, entropy increases over time. Left to their own, things naturally become less organized. It's like when my son was growing up. We used to joke he was the embodiment of entropy as a way of explaining the condition of his room. It takes extra energy to make the bed and pick up the toys. Entropy is natural and it comes easy, but easy isn't always best. Like looking for something in a messy room, it's harder to find anything, and all the time you're at risk of stepping on a Lego block in your bare feet. Entropy can be dangerous. In a sense, I think what Chekhov is saying is that if we expect easy, then we need to keep our expectations for everything else very low. Order and progress don't come from easy. We have to inject energy into the system. As leaders, we have to be ready to do what is not easy. Here are four temptingly easy things we should avoid if we want to keep entropy at bay. Number one, take the bait. Sometimes facing a problem, there seems to be an easy answer, but like a hungry mouse coming across a block of cheese, the easy answer might just be the most dangerous. As H.L. Mencken once said, there's always an easy solution to every problem, neat, plausible, and wrong. When looking for solutions, we have to do the hard work of getting clear on what the problem really is, coming up with several good quality options, and then forcing ourselves to come up with one more. Don't talk about it. When hard people issues arise, the easy way to deal with them is avoidance. But left to fester, simple misunderstandings can harden into attitudes and problematic behaviors. And the longer we put off dealing with them, the worse they become and the harder to fix. As Wally Bach of Three Star Leadership suggests, if we make the effort to have lots of conversations with our teammates, it will be much easier to address the negatives when the time comes. Third is follow the crowd. There's safety in number, and it's easy to follow a well-worn path. But that path doesn't always lead where we need it to go. As Stephen Covey likes to say, we could be making great progress hacking and cutting our way through the jungle. The hard thing for the leader to do is climb one of those trees, take a good look around and tell the team, hey, we're in the wrong jungle. Especially when the response is likely to be, shut up, we're making progress. And fourth, look away. There are values, and then there's getting stuff done. And sometimes the two can seem to get in each other's way. What's easy to do is turn a blind eye. We can pretend we don't see our star teammate when he disrespects someone. Or we can let quality standards slip just this once in order to get a shipment out on time. But that's a false path too. The first exception paves the way for more, and soon living up to the values we espouse becomes the exception. Then we wonder why our team's culture doesn't match the pretty values poster hanging on the conference room wall. When expedience comes up against ethic, leaders need to make sure that ethic wins every time or they aren't really leading. Taking the easy way invites entropy. Entropy is another word for chaos and a common way to talk about good leaders is those who are able to bring order out of chaos. Chekhov is telling us if we want to avoid chaos, we can't expect things to be easy. We have to be ready to put energy into the system. We have to be ready to do hard things. And that is how we avoid the natural pull of entropy, the deceitful lure of the easy, and Lego blocks under our feet. Leon. But the easy solution may not always be the right one. Today in Alliance for Leaders, I'll share you... Oh, ouch. <laughs> okay, forgot to unload that one. Let's try that again.